Senior Clint, this is how we make Sarah's fried rice. You've got your long, enriched long grain rice. You have an onion that you are going to either dice or shave, up to you. I like, I prefer the, the dicing. The minced garlic and mixed vegetables. You're also going to need cooking oil. Do not use olive oil, it will make it mushy. Cooking oil. So what you need to do is measure out your rice as you're going to want it to fit in a rice cooker. For today, we're going to do two cups of rice. Then, you need to heat up the cooking oil. And then you're going to, once this is heated, you're going to brown your rice. And then after you're done browning your rice, you're going to put it in the crock pot, not the crock pot, the rice cooker. All right, now that your oil is nice and hot, you're going to grab your rice, get it pre-measured into the rice cooker. And you're gonna brown it. Nice and brown. Mix it up. It might have been a little too much oil, but we're gonna be okay. Just a little bit more flavor. brown it and then what we're going to do is we're going to mix in the onion in a little bit and then the garlic so that we're going to do it later so that those two items don't burn okay we are at about four minutes into browning the rice and at this time we are going to mix in the onions I prefer them diced and not shaved. However, we are at about five minutes right now. Okay, I am going to now mix in at minute six some minced garlic. And that's just gonna stay in here for about one minute. And then we're going to be ready to cook. I... All right, we're done at about minute seven. And to quote Sarah, this gives the rice flavor, flavor. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put it in the rice cooker. Okay, so put the water in first so we can mix in the chicken bouillon. Um, and let the rice cool a little, just a little bit. This is what I would do. Okay. I would um, put the liquid up to the two mark, because we use two. Did, let me yeah. explain it to you. Maybe. So, um, we're recording. You put chicken broth mm -hmm. and a little bit of fresh tomato sauce solution up to the two mark. That's what we would normally do. Yeah. But we don't have chicken broth. We don't have chicken broth. So we're doing chicken bouillon. Yeah. So, so we're going to do tomato. We have tomato chicken bouillon. Hot water up to the number two mark. So whatever the equivalent, because you might have the rice cooker, whatever the equivalent of water to the rice is. Mm -hmm. Could you grab me my drink cup, please, and put it in there? So we want to get liquid to the two mark. All right. Barely fits. We can always get it. All right, we're going out the 
big giant ice cream cup. I didn't know. I did. These are pancakes. So now we add the powder to that appropriate amount of water, which is on the side. Okay, one moment while you research. Okay, the appropriate amount of chicken bouillon is one teaspoon per every cup. So as Sarah noted, the measuring, the cups, it's, it's in metric, this is an Asian rice cooker. We converted it to arc cups, and that we have two and a half cups of water. So we're gonna do two and a half teaspoons of chicken bouillon into the water. This is a substitute for chicken broth and some to tomato sauce, but it works great. This is okay. We are back. We are now going to. We have put the fried rice into the rice cooker colander, and then we have the mixed in chicken bouillon. Remember, this is a substitute for chicken broth and tomato sauce. Now, we use a rice cooker, makes life easy. It's set for white rice. Actually, no, it's set for sushi, regular. We're going to take the settings to white rice, which is regular sushi. All right. Once this is done, the final step is to take your, your mixed vegetables and you're going to mix it into the steamed rice and just the steam will cook it up for you. And then you'll, of course, you can reheat it later and everything, but that will be the final step. Okay, Senior Clint, we just had the happy song from uh, the rice cooker, seeing that we're done. Now, how much mixed vegetables you put in is up to you, but we are going to start with half a cup of mixed vegetables per one cup of rice. We did two cups of dry rice. So that's two one halves equals one cup. We're gonna start with that. Go oh, check out how nice and brown and yummy that looks. Put in the mixed veggies. Pepper, a little bit of salt, salt. We're going to mix that in. And back up, let it steam. And there you have Mexican rice.